Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Today, we embark on a captivating journey into the transformative world of fame, highlighting 40 famous individuals you'd scarcely recognize today. From iconic stars to influential figures, the sands of time have sculpted their appearances in surprising ways. Join us as we unveil the captivating stories behind the evolutions of these personalities, exploring the unexpected turns that have led them to become almost unrecognizable. Get ready to be astonished as we delve into the intriguing world of 20 famous people you'd never recognize today. Number 40. Meg Ryan, born on November 19, 1961, in Fairfield, Connecticut, rose to fame in the 1980s and 1990s through her endearing performances in romantic comedies such as When Harry Met Sally and Sleepless in Seattle. These roles established her as America's sweetheart, known for her charming smile and girl-next-door appeal. Over the years, Meg Ryan's appearance has undergone a noticeable transformation, marked by subtle changes that include her decision to embrace a more natural aging process. Unlike some celebrities who opt for extensive cosmetic alterations, Ryan has chosen a path that reflects authenticity and self-acceptance. This decision has garnered mixed reactions from the public, with some applauding her choice and others expressing nostalgia for her earlier image. While the change in her physical appearance has sparked discussions, it seems to have had minimal impact on Meg Ryan's career. Despite taking a step back from leading roles, she remains a respected figure in the entertainment industry, occasionally taking on supporting roles and exploring opportunities behind the camera. In conclusion, Meg Ryan's journey reflects a deliberate shift in how she navigates the pressures of Hollywood. Her enduring talent and the love of her fans showcase that, regardless of external changes, she remains an influential and timeless icon in the world of cinema. Number 39. Bridget Nielsen, born on July 15, 1963, in Radov, Denmark, first gained widespread recognition in the 1980s for her striking looks and towering height. Her breakthrough roles in films like Red Sonja and Rocky IV solidified her status as an international sex symbol and action movie star. Over the years, Bridget Nielsen's appearance has undergone a remarkable transformation. Once known for her glamorous, statuesque beauty, she has embraced a more natural and authentic look as she aged. Nielsen's decision to embrace her changing appearance has been met with appreciation from fans and the public, who applaud her confidence and authenticity. Nielsen's bold transformation has not gone unnoticed, and the public's reaction has been generally positive. Fans admire her for breaking away from conventional beauty standards and embracing her natural self. This shift in her image has not only sparked discussions about ageism in the entertainment industry but has also paved the way for a more inclusive definition of beauty. In conclusion, Bridget Nielsen's journey reflects a departure from conventional norms, showcasing the power of embracing one's true self. Her bold transformation not only challenges societal expectations but also reinforces the idea that beauty comes in various forms, making her an inspiring figure for those navigating the complexities of aging and the public eye. Number 38. Kathleen Turner, born on June 19, 1954, in Springfield, Missouri, captivated audiences with her compelling performances and distinctive husky voice. Renowned for iconic roles in Body Heat and Romancing the Stone, Turner's sultry presence became synonymous with 80s Hollywood alert. In recent years, Kathleen Turner's appearance has undergone a graceful transformation, marked by the natural aging process. Her decision to embrace the changes has resonated positively with admirers, who appreciate her authenticity. Despite the physical alterations, Turner's timeless talent continues to shine, transcending the superficial aspects of fame. Public reactions to Kathleen Turner's current appearance vary. While some celebrate her embracing authenticity, others may express nostalgia for her youthful on-screen image. Remarkably, her enduring talent has shielded her from any significant impact on her illustrious career, showcasing that true artistry surpasses external perceptions. In conclusion, Kathleen Turner's journey symbolizes the art of aging gracefully in the public eye. 
Her ability to navigate changes while maintaining her intrinsic talent affirms her status as a revered figure in the entertainment industry. Number 37. Kelly McGillis, born on July 9, 1957, in Newport Beach, California, is an acclaimed actress known for her captivating performances in the 1980s and beyond. Her career took off with the iconic film, Top Gun, 1986, where she starred alongside Tom Cruise, solidifying her status as a Hollywood leading lady. McGillis continued to make significant contributions to cinema with roles in movies like, Witness, 1985, earning her a Golden Globe nomination, and The Accused, 1988. Her ability to portray a range of characters showcased her versatility and earned her critical acclaim. Over the years, Kelly McGillis has experienced changes in her appearance, but it's important to note that her journey wasn't solely about physical transformations. After achieving fame, she took a step back from the Hollywood spotlight, focusing on personal growth and a quieter life away from the industry. Public reactions to Kelly McGillis's evolving appearance have been mixed, with some expressing nostalgia for her earlier roles and others appreciating her commitment to authenticity. McGillis's decision to prioritize personal well-being over societal expectations reflects a resilience that extends beyond the realm of Hollywood glamour. Despite the changes in her public presence, Kelly McGillis's impact on the film industry remains significant. Her story is a testament to the complexities of fame, the importance of self-discovery, and the resilience needed to navigate a career in the spotlight. Number 36. Matthew Perry, born on August 19, 1969, in Williamstown, Massachusetts, rose to prominence through his role as Chandler Bing in the beloved TV series, Friends. Known for his impeccable comedic timing, Perry's charm became synonymous with the 90s sitcom era. In recent years, Matthew Perry's appearance has undergone changes, primarily attributed to the natural aging process. While fans appreciate his matured look, there's a sentiment of nostalgia for his youthful days. Perry, however, embraces these changes with grace, emphasizing the importance of self-acceptance. Public reactions to Matthew Perry's current appearance vary. Some celebrate his authenticity, recognizing that true talent transcends physical changes. Perry's enduring success in the industry affirms that his skill and charisma continue to open doors to new opportunities. In conclusion, Matthew Perry's journey is a testament to the evolving nature of fame and the acceptance of oneself amid the passage of time. Number 35. Janice Dickinson, born on February 16, 1955, in Brooklyn, New York, earned her fame as a supermodel and a judge on America's Next Top Model. With a career that took off in the 1970s, she became known for her striking looks and fierce runway presence. Over the years, Janice Dickinson's appearance has evolved, partly due to her openness about undergoing cosmetic procedures. While some fans admire her candidness, others express mixed reactions to the transformations. Dickinson's decision to embrace change reflects her perspective on beauty as a personal choice. Public responses to Janice Dickinson's current appearance vary. Some applaud her for being transparent about the influence of cosmetic enhancements, while others may feel nostalgic for her earlier image. Despite this, Dickinson's resilience and outspoken nature have maintained her presence in the media. The impact of Janice Dickinson's changing appearance on her career is nuanced. While it may have influenced public perception, her continued involvement in the industry underscores the enduring impact of her contributions to the world of modeling and entertainment. In conclusion, Janice Dickinson's journey exemplifies the evolving standards of beauty in the public eye and her unapologetic approach to personal choices in maintaining her iconic status. Number 34. Keith Richards, born on December 18, 1943, 
in Dartford, Kent, England, is a legendary guitarist and songwriter, best known as a founding member of the Rolling Stones. Richard's influential career spans decades, and his iconic riffs have left an indelible mark on the history of rock and roll. Over the years, Keith Richards' appearance has become synonymous with his rock and roll lifestyle. The natural aging process, combined with a life filled with music and excess, has left its mark on his rugged yet charismatic visage. Richard's distinctive look has become an integral part of his identity as a rock icon. Public reactions to Keith Richards' current appearance are diverse. Many fans celebrate his authenticity, appreciating the lived-in and authentic aura that accompanies his seasoned appearance. Richard's ability to embrace his age and wear it with pride resonates positively with those who admire his contribution to the world of music. The impact of Keith Richards' appearance on his career has been minimal. His enduring talent, both as a guitarist and a songwriter, remains the focal point of his legacy. Richard's commitment to his craft and his unapologetic authenticity contribute to the continued reverence he receives from the music community and fans worldwide. Number 33. Caitlyn Jenner originally known as William Bruce Jenner, was born on October 28, 1949, in Mount Kisco, New York. Initially celebrated as an Olympic gold medalist in the decathlon, Jenner later underwent a highly publicized gender transition. Caitlyn Jenner's fame initially stemmed from her remarkable achievements in athletics, particularly winning the gold medal in the decathlon at the 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal. However, it was in 2015 that Jenner publicly revealed her gender identity and introduced herself to the world as Caitlyn. The transformation in Caitlyn Jenner's appearance reflects her journey of self-discovery and living authentically. Her decision to embrace her true identity garnered significant attention and sparked important conversations about transgender visibility and acceptance. Public reactions to Caitlyn Jenner's transition have been diverse. While some applaud her courage and advocacy for transgender rights, others express varying opinions on her public persona and the intersection of identity and celebrity. Caitlyn Jenner's transition has undeniably impacted her public image, both positively and controversially. She has used her platform to advocate for transgender visibility and awareness, contributing to a broader conversation about gender identity in society. Number 32. Elsa Patton, born on January 30, 1936, in Greece, gained recognition as a reality television personality, particularly known for her appearances on the Bravo TV series, The Real Housewives of Miami. Elsa brought a unique and vibrant energy to the show, captivating audiences with her charismatic personality. While Elsa Patton's early life and career details may not have been as widely documented as some other celebrities, her fame rose significantly due to her role as the mother of Mary Saul Patton, one of the main cast members on The Real Housewives of Miami. Over time, Elsa Patton's appearance underwent changes, which she openly attributed to cosmetic enhancements. Her willingness to discuss these changes publicly reflected her candid and unapologetic attitude. Audiences generally responded positively to Elsa Patton's unique charm on reality television. Her witty remarks and bold personality made her a memorable figure among fans of the show. Despite the changes in her appearance, Patton's magnetic presence continued to leave an impact. The influence of Elsa Patton's evolving appearance on her overall public image and career was notable within the context of reality television. Her authenticity and willingness to share personal aspects of her life contributed to the entertainment value of the show and endeared her to viewers. Number 31. Pamela Anderson, born on July 1, 1967, in Ladysmith, British Columbia, Canada, emerged as a cultural icon through her roles as an actress and model. Initially gaining fame as the Tool Time Girl on the sitcom Home Improvement, and later skyrocketing to global recognition as C.J. Parker on Baywatch, Anderson became synonymous with the epitome of 90s glamour. Anderson's beauty and alluring persona have been central to her fame. Her iconic portrayal of C.J. Parker, running in slow motion across the beach, left an indelible mark on popular culture. 
Her status as a Playboy playmate further solidified her as a sex symbol, making her one of the most recognized and desired women in the world. Over the years, Pamela Anderson's appearance has evolved. While her youthful image persists in the collective memory, Anderson's willingness to embrace change has included updates to her iconic blonde look and, at times, public discussions about cosmetic procedures. Public reactions to Pamela Anderson's evolving appearance have been mixed. Some appreciate her adaptability and continue to lurk, while others express nostalgia for her earlier image. Nevertheless, Anderson's charisma and enduring popularity affirm her status as a timeless beauty. The influence of Pamela Anderson's appearance on her career is undeniable. Beyond acting and modeling, her persona has extended into activism, particularly her advocacy for animal rights and environmental causes. Anderson's ability to balance her allure with a commitment to important issues showcases the multidimensionality of her impact. Number 30. Amy Lee, born on December 13, 1981, in Riverside, California, is a renowned singer, songwriter, and pianist, best known as the co-founder and lead vocalist of the rock band Evanescence. Her ethereal voice and emotive lyrics have made her a captivating figure in the music industry. Amy Lee's journey to fame began with the formation of Evanescence in the late 90s. The band's debut album, Fallen, released in 2003, featured the iconic hit, Bring Me to Life, showcasing Lee's powerful vocals and establishing Evanescence as a prominent force in alternative rock. Known for her dark and mysterious stage presence, Amy Lee's appearance complements the gothic and symphonic elements of Evanescence's music. Her expressive fashion sense and unique style have resonated with fans, contributing to the band's visual identity. Despite the music industry's emphasis on image, Amy Lee's focus has always been on the artistry of her craft. Her authenticity and commitment to creating meaningful music have garnered widespread acclaim and a dedicated fan base. Audiences have reacted passionately to Amy Lee's performances and the emotional depth in Evanescence's music. Lee's ability to convey intense emotions through her voice has established her as one of the most distinctive and influential voices in rock music. While Amy Lee's appearance has evolved over the years, her commitment to artistic expression remains unwavering. Fans appreciate her dedication to pushing musical boundaries and creating a unique sonic experience with each Evanescence album. Number 29. Mara Wilson born on July 24, 1987, in Los Angeles, California, rose to fame as a child actress in the 1990s. Widely recognized for her roles in beloved films like Matilda and Mrs. Doubtfire, Wilson charmed audiences with her talent and undeniable charisma. Her real name, Mara Elizabeth Wilson, reflects her genuine identity. Born into a showbiz family, Wilson's career began at an early age, and her performances showcased a natural and endearing quality. Her memorable portrayal of Matilda Wormwood in the film, Matilda, solidified her status as a talented child star. As Mara Wilson transitioned from child roles to adolescence, she chose a different path. Rather than continuing as a Hollywood star, she pursued higher education and explored her interests in writing and storytelling. Her decision to step away from the spotlight showcased a level of maturity and autonomy uncommon among former child actors. Mara Wilson's appearance has naturally evolved over the years, reflecting her personal growth. Embracing authenticity, she has been open about her experiences in the entertainment industry, discussing both the positive and challenging aspects. Public reactions to Mara Wilson's journey have been largely positive. Fans appreciate her candidness, wit, and the positive influence she continues to exert through her writing and online presence. Wilson has become an advocate for mental health awareness, adding depth to her public persona. While her decision to leave Hollywood was unconventional, Mara Wilson's influence endures. She has successfully navigated the challenges of transitioning from child star to a multifaceted adult, leaving behind a legacy that extends beyond the role she played on screen. Number 28. Aubrey O'Day, born on February 11, 1984, in San Francisco, California, 
is a multi-talented artist, singer, songwriter, and reality television personality. She gained prominence as a member of the girl group Danity Kane, formed on the reality show Making the Band. Known for her powerful vocals and dynamic stage presence, Aubrey O'Day played a pivotal role in the success of Danity Kane. The group's debut album, Danity Kane, released in 2006, achieved significant commercial success, solidifying O'Day's status as a rising star in the music industry. Aubrey O'Day's journey extended beyond music into the realm of reality television. Her appearance on various reality shows, including Celebrity Apprentice and Famously Single, showcased different facets of her personality and contributed to her widespread recognition. Over the years, Aubrey O'Day's appearance has undergone transformations, and she has been open about her experiences with body image and self-acceptance. Despite the challenges, O'Day has maintained her confidence and individuality, becoming an advocate for body positivity. Public reactions to Aubrey O'Day have been diverse, with fans appreciating her artistic talents and candid nature. Her ability to navigate the complexities of the entertainment industry and maintain authenticity has garnered respect from a broad audience. Aubrey O'Day's presence in the public eye has not been without controversy, but her resilience and commitment to her craft have remained constant. Whether on stage, in the recording studio, or on reality television, O'Day continues to captivate audiences with her multifaceted talents. Number 27. Tori Spelling, born on May 16, 1973, in Los Angeles, California, is an actress, author, and television personality, best known for her role as Donna Martin on the popular television series, Beverly Hills, 9210. Born into a Hollywood legacy as the daughter of famed producer Aaron Spelling, Tori began her journey in the entertainment industry at an early age. Tori Spelling's real name, Victoria Davy Spelling reflects her familial ties and her place in Hollywood history. Growing up in the spotlight, she became a household name through her role in Beverly Hills, 9210, a show that significantly impacted 1990s pop culture. Despite the challenges associated with being the child of a Hollywood mogul, Tori Spelling carved her path in the industry. Beyond acting, she explored various ventures, including reality television. Her participation in shows like Tori and Dean, In Love, provided audiences with a glimpse into her personal and professional life. Over the years, Tori Spelling's appearance has garnered public attention. She has been open about her experiences with body image issues and the pressures of Hollywood standards. Despite the scrutiny, Spelling has maintained her individuality and resilience. Public reactions to Tori Spelling have been diverse, with fans appreciating her candidness and others expressing opinions on her public persona. Through highs and lows, Tori Spelling remains a recognizable figure, navigating the complexities of fame while balancing her roles as a mother, actress, and entrepreneur. Number 26. Victoria Jackson, born on August 2, 1959, in Miami, Florida, is a multi-talented entertainer known for her contributions to comedy and her time on Saturday Night Live SNL. Her full name, Victoria Jane Jackson, is associated with a career that extends beyond the realm of laughter into the spheres of activism and political engagement. Victoria Jackson's rise to fame began when she joined the cast of SNL in the 1980s. Her quirky characters and energetic performances made her a memorable figure on the show. Her stint on SNL provided a platform for her comedic talents and helped establish her as a recognizable face in the entertainment industry. Beyond her comedic pursuits, Victoria Jackson has delved into the world of activism. Over the years, she has become known for her conservative political views and her involvement in various causes. Her transition from comedy to political activism reflects her passionate commitment to her beliefs. Victoria Jackson's appearance has also evolved over time, and she has been open about her personal and political transformations. Her outspoken nature and willingness to express her views have sometimes sparked public debates, but she remains steadfast in her convictions. Public reactions to Victoria Jackson's post-SNL career have been diverse. 
While some appreciate her dedication to causes she believes in, others have differing opinions on her political stance. Regardless of differing views, Jackson's journey showcases the complexity of personal and professional evolution in the public eye. Number 25. Kelly Osborne, born on October 27, 1984, in London, England, is a multifaceted personality known for her contributions to the entertainment industry, fashion, and her role in reality television. As the daughter of iconic rock star Ozzy Osbourne, Kelly was introduced to the public eye at an early age. Kelly Osbourne's journey to fame reached new heights with her family's reality show, The Osbournes, which premiered in the early 2000s. The show provided an inside look into the Osborne family dynamics, showcasing Kelly's bold and unapologetic personality. Her presence on the show endeared her to audiences worldwide. Beyond her reality TV stardom, Kelly Osborne has ventured into diverse fields. Her foray into the fashion world led to her becoming a style icon. Her distinctive looks and ever-evolving hairstyles have garnered attention and praise from the fashion community. Over the years, Kelly Osborne has undergone notable transformations in her appearance, all while embracing her individuality. Her openness about personal struggles, including her journey with weight and addiction, has made her a relatable figure for many. Kelly Osborne's advocacy for body positivity and mental health has resonated with fans. Her resilience in the face of challenges and commitment to authenticity have positioned her as an empowered voice in the entertainment industry. Public reactions to Kelly Osborne have been diverse, with fans appreciating her candor and dynamic personality. Her authenticity and willingness to address societal issues have contributed to her enduring popularity. Number 24. Avril Ramona Levine, born on September 27, 1984, in Belleville, Ontario, Canada, is a Canadian singer, songwriter, and actress. Bursting onto the music scene in the early 2000s, Avril quickly became a symbol of rebelliousness and individuality in the pop-punk genre. Avril Levine's authentic and edgy persona resonated with a generation seeking an alternative to mainstream pop. Her debut album, Let Go, released in 2002, featured hits like Complicated and Skater Boy, solidifying her place in the music industry. The album's success showcased Avril's ability to blend punk elements with catchy melodies, creating a distinct sound. Known for her distinctive style, including her trademark ties, tank tops, and skateboarding aesthetic, Avril Lavigne's influence extended beyond music. She became a fashion icon, inspiring a wave of young fans to embrace a mix of punk and skater fashion. Over the years, Avril Lavigne's appearance and musical style have evolved. Her later albums, such as Under My Skin and The Best Damn Thing, explored different themes while maintaining her rebellious spirit. Despite facing health challenges, including Lyme disease, Avril has continued to produce music and connect with her fan base. Public reactions to Avril Lavigne's evolution have been supportive, with fans appreciating her resilience and diverse musical ventures. Her impact on pop culture remains significant, and her ability to adapt while staying true to her roots has solidified her status as an enduring figure in the music industry. Number 23. Edward Walter Furlong, born on August 2, 1977, in Glendale, California, is an American actor who rose to fame at a young age. His breakthrough came with his portrayal of John Connor in the blockbuster film Terminator 2, Judgment Day, in 1991, earning him critical acclaim for his performance. Edward Furlong's early success in Hollywood marked the beginning of what promised to be a stellar career. Following Terminator 2, he starred in films like American History X, 1998, and Detroit Rock City, 1999, showcasing his versatility as an actor. 
Furlong's natural talent and ability to bring depth to his characters endeared him to audiences. However, despite his promising start, Edward Furlong faced personal challenges, including struggles with substance abuse and legal issues. These issues took a toll on his career, affecting the momentum he had gained as a young Hollywood talent. Over the years, Furlong's appearance underwent changes, and he faced public scrutiny as he navigated personal challenges. Despite these hurdles, some fans remained supportive, expressing hope for his recovery and a potential resurgence in his acting career. The impact of Edward Furlong's early success and subsequent challenges highlights the complex nature of fame in the entertainment industry. His story serves as a reminder of the pressures young talents face and the importance of addressing personal struggles in the public eye. Number 22. Jonah Hill Feldstein, born on December 20, 1983, in Los Angeles, California, has traversed a remarkable journey in the entertainment industry. Initially gaining fame through comedic roles in films like Superbad, 2007, and Knocked Up, 2007, Hill's distinctive humor and quirky characters made him a standout in the comedy genre. However, Hill's evolution goes beyond the laughter. His venture into more dramatic roles, notably in Moneyball, 2011, alongside Brad Pitt, showcased a depth and versatility that earned him an Academy Award nomination. This transition marked a turning point in Hill's career, challenging perceptions and proving his prowess as a multifaceted actor. Accompanying his professional growth, Jonah Hill underwent a noticeable physical transformation. Shedding weight and adopting a healthier lifestyle, he defied conventional expectations associated with his earlier appearance. This change, driven by a commitment to personal well-being, drew attention and admiration from fans and critics alike. Public reactions to Jonah Hill's current appearance have been overwhelmingly positive, with many applauding his dedication to a healthier lifestyle. Despite initial concerns about how this transformation might impact his career, Hill's talent and acting skills continue to be celebrated, debunking stereotypes about the industry's emphasis on physical appearance. Number 21. Jake Matthew Lloyd, born on March 5, 1989, in Fort Collins, Colorado, made a significant impact on the cinematic world at a young age. He gained widespread recognition for his portrayal of young Anakin Skywalker in Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, 1999. Lloyd's performance in The Phantom Menace showcased his talent, and his portrayal of the iconic character earned him a place in the hearts of Star Wars fans worldwide. However, the immense popularity came at a price. The intense scrutiny and pressure on a young actor left a lasting impact on Lloyd. Following his role as Anakin Skywalker, Jake Lloyd faced challenges in coping with the abrupt shift in his life. He decided to step away from acting, and over the years, his appearance underwent changes. Lloyd's choice to distance himself from the spotlight was fueled by a desire for a more private and balanced life. The public's reaction to Jake Lloyd's transformation has been a mix of curiosity and concern. Fans, while expressing nostalgia for his Star Wars days, have also shown empathy for the challenges he faced. The toll of early fame on Lloyd's life emphasizes the need for support and understanding within the entertainment industry. Despite the challenges, Jake Lloyd's decision to prioritize his well-being over fame reflects a mature approach to navigating the complexities of early stardom. His story serves as a reminder that behind the on-screen magic, young actors face unique struggles and highlights the importance of compassion in the ever-evolving world of fame. Number 20. Sigourney Weaver, born on October 8, 1949, in New York City. Susan Alexandra Sigourney Weaver is a distinguished actress and film producer known for her groundbreaking roles in science fiction and drama. Her journey to fame reached new heights with iconic performances in films like Alien, Ghostbusters, and Avatar. Sigourney Weaver's real name is Susan Alexandra Weaver, and she was born in New York City. 
She entered the spotlight in the late 1970s with her role as Ellen Ripley in the science fiction horror film, Alien. This portrayal marked her as a trailblazer, earning her critical acclaim and setting a standard for strong, independent female characters in the genre. The evolution in Sigourney Weaver's appearance reflects her adaptability and commitment to her craft. Despite the passing years, her grace and elegance have not waned, making her a timeless symbol of beauty and talent. Audiences continue to appreciate her versatility, from action-packed roles to compelling dramatic performances. Sigourney Weaver's impact extends beyond the screen, as she has been an advocate for environmental causes and women's rights. Her influence as an actress and a voice for social issues underscores her significance as a cinematic pioneer whose legacy will endure for generations. Number 19. Jamie Lee Curtis, born on November 22, 1958, in Santa Monica, California, is an enduring figure in the entertainment industry, celebrated for her acting prowess and influential presence. Rising to fame in the late 1970s, Curtis became a prominent figure in the horror genre with iconic roles in films like Halloween, 1978. Known for her talent and versatility, Jamie Lee Curtis established herself in a variety of roles, transcending genres from horror to comedy and drama. Her captivating performances in films such as Trading Places, 1983, and A Fish Called Wanda, 1988, showcased her ability to excel in diverse characters. Despite the ever-evolving nature of the film industry, Jamie Lee Curtis has maintained a timeless elegance. While embracing the natural aging process, Curtis has been a vocal advocate for authenticity and self-acceptance, challenging societal norms around beauty and aging. Public reactions to Jamie Lee Curtis's journey have been overwhelmingly positive. Audiences appreciate her commitment to portraying real and relatable characters. Curtis's decision to present herself authentically has inspired discussions on redefining beauty standards in Hollywood and beyond. In addition to her acting career, Jamie Lee Curtis has ventured into writing children's books, further showcasing her multifaceted talents. Her journey serves as a testament to the enduring power of authenticity, talent, and resilience in an industry that often places emphasis on youth. Number 18. Linda Louise de George, born on December 11, 1944, in San Marcos, Texas, is an actress celebrated for her timeless elegance and versatile performances. Emerging as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry during the 1960s and 1970s, George captivated audiences with her talent and grace. Linda de George gained widespread recognition for her roles in popular television series such as Mission, Impossible, and The Love Boat. Her ability to portray diverse characters contributed to her success and popularity during that era. Beyond her television career, Linda Day George made a mark in the film industry with notable appearances in movies like Pieces of Dreams, 1970, and Mortal Sins, 1989. Her on-screen presence and acting skills endeared her to audiences and established her as a respected actress. Throughout the years, Linda Day George has maintained a sense of timeless elegance. Despite the ever-changing standards of beauty in Hollywood, she embraced her natural aging process gracefully, becoming an inspiring figure for those who appreciate authenticity and self-acceptance. Public reception of Linda Day George's journey has been filled with admiration for her enduring beauty and contributions to the entertainment world. Her ability to transcend the limitations often associated with age in the industry underscores the significance of talent and authenticity. Number 17. Whoopi Goldberg, born Karen Elaine Johnson on November 13, 1955, in New York City, is an iconic actress and comedian celebrated for her groundbreaking roles. Rising to fame with her Academy Award-winning performance in Ghost, Goldberg's career spans decades and genres. 
Over the years, Whoopi Goldberg has embraced her unique style, marked by her distinctive dreadlocks and eclectic fashion choices. Her decision to maintain her authentic appearance reflects a commitment to individuality and a rejection of conventional norms. This bold choice has garnered both admiration and intrigue from the public. Public reactions to Whoopi Goldberg's current appearance are diverse. Many applaud her for challenging societal expectations and celebrating her identity, while others may express surprise at the departure from more traditional Hollywood standards. Remarkably, Goldberg's wit and talent remain at the forefront, undeterred by external perceptions. The impact of her appearance on Whoopi Goldberg's career has been minimal. Her unwavering success is a testament to the industry recognizing talent beyond physical aesthetics. Whoopi Goldberg stands as a trailblazer, using her platform to advocate for authenticity and inclusivity in an industry often focused on superficial ideals. In conclusion, Whoopi Goldberg's journey exemplifies resilience and authenticity. Her unwavering commitment to being herself, regardless of societal pressures, makes her a beloved and influential figure in the entertainment world. Number 16. Daryl Christine Hanna, born on December 3, 1960, in Chicago, Illinois, is a renowned actress whose career has spanned decades. Rising to prominence in the 1980s, Hanna captured hearts with her ethereal beauty and versatile acting skills. Daryl Hanna achieved iconic status with her memorable roles in films like Blade Runner, 1982, and Splash, 1984. Her ability to portray characters with depth and authenticity set her apart in Hollywood, making her a sought-after actress during that era. While Daryl Hannah's appearance has naturally evolved over time, her journey reflects more than just physical changes. She has been an advocate for environmental causes, showcasing a commitment to activism that extends beyond the silver screen. Hannah's dedication to environmental issues has become a defining aspect of her public persona. Public reactions to Daryl Hannah's evolving appearance have been mixed, with some nostalgic for her classic roles and others appreciating her dedication to meaningful causes. Her decision to balance a life of acting with a commitment to environmental activism has sparked discussions about the intersection of celebrity and social responsibility. Daryl Hannah's enduring presence in the industry, combined with her passion for environmental advocacy, paints a picture of a woman who transcends the boundaries of Hollywood glamour. Her story serves as a reminder that true beauty lies not only in appearances but also in the impact one can make beyond the confines of the entertainment world. Number 15. Glenn Close, born on March 19, 1947, in Greenwich, Connecticut, is a distinguished actress renowned for her timeless elegance and exceptional versatility. With a career spanning over four decades, Close has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. One of Close's breakthrough roles was in the film, Fatal Attraction, 1987, where her portrayal of the complex character Alex Forrest earned her critical acclaim. Her ability to seamlessly transition between genres was further showcased in movies like Dangerous Liaisons, 1988, and 101 Dalmatians, 1996. Glenn Close's transformative performances extended to her work on the stage, earning her accolades for various Broadway productions, including Sunset Boulevard and Death and the Maiden. Her commitment to the craft of acting is evident in the numerous award nominations and wins she has received throughout her illustrious career. While the years have brought subtle changes to Glenn Close's appearance, her enduring grace remains a hallmark of her persona. Audiences have consistently appreciated her dedication to authenticity both on and off the screen, Public reception to Glenn Close's evolving appearance has been overwhelmingly positive, recognizing her as a paragon of grace and talent. Her timeless elegance and commitment to her craft serve as an inspiration for aspiring actors and a testament to the enduring allure of a brilliant career in entertainment. Number 14. Lara Flynn Boyle, born on March 24, 1970, in Davenport, Iowa, is an actress whose career has undergone intriguing transformations. Rising to fame in the 1990s, 
Boyle became a notable figure with her role as Donna Hayward in the iconic television series, Twin Peaks. Boyle's breakthrough continued with significant film roles, including The Temp, 1993, and Threesome, 1994. However, it was her portrayal of the mysterious and captivating Donna Hayward that initially brought her widespread recognition. Over time, Laura Flynn Boyle's appearance underwent changes, sparking discussions in the media and among fans. While these changes have been a subject of public interest, Boyle's dedication to her craft and her roles on both the big and small screens remains a defining aspect of her career. Public reactions to Laura Flynn Boyle's evolving appearance have been mixed, with some expressing nostalgia for her earlier roles, while others appreciate her commitment to authenticity. Boyle's journey through Hollywood's shifting standards serves as a testament to the industry's challenges and the pressure on actors to conform to societal expectations. Despite the public scrutiny, Laura Flynn Boyle's talent and versatility as an actress continue to be acknowledged. Her journey is a reminder that actors, like all individuals, navigate personal and professional changes, and the focus should remain on their craft rather than external appearances. Number 13. Emma Thompson, born on April 15, 1959, in Paddington, London, is an esteemed actress known for her remarkable talent and versatility. With a career spanning several decades, Thompson has become a respected figure in both film and theater. Thompson's breakthrough came with her roles in films like Howard's End, 1992, and The Remains of the Day, 1993, earning her critical acclaim and prestigious awards including Academy Awards for both acting and screenwriting. Her ability to embody diverse characters with depth and authenticity sets her apart as a true icon of the craft. Over the years, Emma Thompson's appearance has naturally evolved, but her grace and elegance have remained constant. Rather than succumbing to Hollywood's stringent beauty standards, Thompson has consistently emphasized the importance of talent, intelligence, and authenticity in the industry. Public reactions to Emma Thompson's evolving appearance have been overwhelmingly positive, celebrating her as an advocate for ageless beauty and a role model for embracing oneself. Thompson's commitment to her craft, coupled with her wisdom and wit, continues to inspire aspiring actors and industry professionals alike. In conclusion, Emma Thompson stands as a beacon of timeless excellence in the world of acting. Her journey not only showcases her artistic brilliance but also serves as a testament to the enduring power of talent and authenticity in the ever-evolving landscape of the entertainment industry. Number 12. Kathy Coleman, born on February 18, 1962, in Waco, Texas, is fondly remembered for her role as Holly Marshall in the classic television series, Land of the Lost. Her journey into the world of entertainment began at a young age, capturing the hearts of audiences with her adventurous spirit. Land of the Lost, which aired in the 1970s, featured Coleman as a young explorer navigating a mysterious prehistoric world. Her portrayal of Holly Marshall showcased not only her acting talent but also her ability to connect with viewers on a personal level. While Kathy Coleman's on-screen adventures were in a fantastical land, her real-life journey led her to explore various aspects of the entertainment industry. Over the years, she transitioned to other pursuits, but her time in the Land of the Lost remains etched in the memories of fans. Public reception to Kathy Coleman has been one of enduring affection, with fans cherishing the nostalgic moments she brought to their childhoods. The Land of the Lost series continues to be a timeless gem, and Coleman's contribution to its charm is celebrated by fans who appreciate the magic of classic television. Kathy Coleman's story is a testament to the lasting impact of childhood television and the special place it holds in the hearts of those who grew up with her adventures. Her journey from the Land of the Lost echoes in the corridors of time, creating timeless memories for generations of fans. Number 11. Heather Langenkamp, born on July 17, 1964, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, is an actress renowned for her iconic role in the horror genre. 
She achieved fame and acclaim for her portrayal of Nancy Thompson in Wes Craven's A Nightmare on Elm Street, 1984. Langenkamp's performance as Nancy, a young woman battling the sinister Freddy Krueger in her dreams, solidified her status as a scream queen and became a defining moment in horror cinema. Her ability to convey fear, determination, and intelligence added depth to the character, earning her a lasting place in the hearts of horror enthusiasts. Following her success in the Nightmare franchise, Heather Langenkamp continued to contribute to the horror genre, both in front of and behind the camera. Her passion for the industry led her to explore various aspects, including producing and documentary filmmaking. Despite the chilling nature of her on-screen endeavors, Langenkamp's real-life persona exudes warmth and resilience. Fans appreciate not only her memorable performances but also her dedication to engaging with the horror community. Heather Langenkamp's enduring legacy extends beyond the scares of Elm Street. As a prominent figure in horror history, she remains a beloved and respected presence, proving that the impact of a scream queen can transcend the confines of nightmares and become a cherished part of cinematic history. Number 10. Amanda Burse, born on August 9, 1958, in Winter Park, Florida. Amanda Burse is a multifaceted talent known for her contributions as an actress, director, and LGBT rights advocate. Her fame surged in the late 1980s with her role as Marcy Darcy on the sitcom Married, with Children. Amanda Burse's journey to stardom began with her groundbreaking role in Married, with Children, where she portrayed Marcy, a character known for her wit and assertiveness. This role not only showcased Burse's comedic prowess but also marked her as one of the first openly lesbian actresses in a recurring television role. Beyond her acting career, Amanda Burse has made significant strides as a director, contributing to various TV shows and sitcoms. Her versatility extends to her advocacy work, where she actively supports LGBTQ rights. Burse's openness about her own identity has played a crucial role in breaking barriers and fostering inclusivity in the entertainment industry. The evolution in Amanda Burse's career and public image is a testament to her resilience and commitment to authenticity. Despite the challenges, her impact on the entertainment industry goes beyond the characters she portrayed, as she continues to be a trailblazer for equality and representation. Number 9. Catherine O'Hara, born on March 4, 1954, in Toronto, Canada, is a comedic genius known for her versatile talents and charismatic performances. With a career spanning decades, O'Hara has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Her real breakthrough came with her involvement in the sketch comedy show, SCTV, during the late 1970s and early 1980s. O'Hara's comedic brilliance shone through various characters, showcasing her impeccable timing and wit. However, it was her collaboration with director Tim Burton in films like Beetlejuice, 1988, and The Nightmare Before Christmas, 1993, that introduced her to a broader audience. Her ability to seamlessly transition between comedic and more nuanced roles solidified her as a versatile actress. Catherine O'Hara's iconic role as Kate McAllister in the holiday classic Home Alone, 1990, endeared her to audiences of all ages. Her portrayal of a mother dealing with the chaos of a family vacation made her a beloved figure in the hearts of many. Despite the passage of time, Catherine O'Hara's magnetic charm remains as captivating as ever. In recent years, her role in the acclaimed television series Schitt's Creek earned her widespread acclaim, including several awards for her outstanding performance. Catherine O'Hara's enduring success in the world of comedy is a testament to her unparalleled talent and the timeless appeal of her work. Her ability to bring laughter and joy to audiences across generations cements her status as a comedic legend. Number 8. Ray Don Chong, born on February 28, 1961, in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, is an actress with a diverse career that has spanned various genres and decades. Her journey in the entertainment industry reflects her versatility and the ability to captivate audiences. Chong gained early recognition with her role in the film 
Quest for Fire, 1981, showcasing her dedication to immersive and challenging roles. However, it was her performance in the action comedy Commando, 1985, alongside Arnold Schwarzenegger that propelled her to international fame. The film became a box office success, contributing significantly to her rising stardom. Over the years, Ray Don Chong has ventured into television, film, and even directing. Her dynamic career has included appearances in notable films such as The Color Purple, 1985, and Soul Man, 1986. Chong's ability to portray a wide range of characters, from dramatic to comedic, has solidified her status as a versatile actress. Beyond her on-screen achievements, Ray Don Chong is recognized for her advocacy work and her willingness to speak out on various social issues. Her passion for creating positive change adds depth to her public persona. Audiences have witnessed Ray Don Chong's evolution over the years, both in her career and personal life. While the industry and her appearance may have changed, her enduring talent and dedication to her craft continue to leave an impact on those who appreciate her work. Number 7. Victoria Principal, born on January 3, 1950, in Fukuoka, Japan, is more than just a Hollywood actress. She is a multifaceted personality who has left an impact both on and off the screen. With a career spanning several decades, Principal has become synonymous with beauty, talent, and compassion. Her breakthrough role came with the television series, Dallas, where she portrayed Pamela Barnes Ewing. The show, which ran from 1978 to 1987, catapulted Principal to international fame and established her as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Her portrayal of Pamela, a character grappling with the complexities of the Ewing family, garnered critical acclaim. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, Victoria Principal is recognized for her philanthropic endeavors. She is an avid supporter of various charitable causes, with a particular focus on environmental issues. Principal's dedication to environmental activism reflects her commitment to making a positive impact on the world. In addition to her acting and philanthropy, Victoria Principal has ventured into entrepreneurship, launching a successful line of skincare products. Her business acumen and commitment to promoting wellness showcase her diverse interests and contributions. Victoria Principal's journey goes beyond the role she has portrayed. Her enduring legacy is shaped not only by her on-screen achievements but also by her commitment to making the world a better place. Through her acting, philanthropy, and business ventures, Principal continues to inspire others to pursue their passions and create positive change. Number 6. Tilda Swinton born on November 5, 1960, in London, United Kingdom, as Catherine Matilda Swinton. This iconic actress has redefined the boundaries of her craft over the years. Tilda Swinton's fame emanates from her ability to disappear into diverse roles, leaving audiences in awe. Swinton's breakthrough came with the film Orlando, 1992, where she portrayed the gender-fluid and immortal Orlando. This role marked the beginning of her penchant for unconventional characters, earning her critical acclaim. Her transformative abilities and commitment to pushing artistic boundaries set her apart. The evolution in Tilda Swinton's appearance is a deliberate choice rooted in her dedication to her art. She embraces androgyny, challenging societal norms and traditional standards of beauty. This intentional transformation reflects her desire to explore the complexity of human identity through her roles. Audiences have responded with admiration and intrigue to Swinton's current appearance, appreciating her fearlessness in defying conventional expectations. Her unique style and commitment to authenticity have garnered respect and a dedicated fan base. Tilda Swinton's distinctive appearance has not hindered her career. Instead, it has become an integral part of her artistic identity. Filmmakers and audiences alike celebrate her for transcending conventional notions of beauty, proving that true talent goes beyond the surface.
Number 5. Lauren Shoes, born on October 26, 1954, in Braddock, Pennsylvania. Lauren Shoes is a renowned actress whose journey in the spotlight has been marked by significant transformations. Widely recognized for her role as Julie McCoy in the popular TV series, The Love Boat, Shoes initially gained fame for her charm and affable demeanor. The evolution in Lauren Shoes appearance traces back to personal challenges and a commitment to self-discovery. Over the years, she has undergone a visible transformation, embracing a more authentic version of herself. This metamorphosis is rooted in Chu's desire to break free from societal expectations and redefine beauty on her terms. The public's response to Lauren Chu's current appearance has been a mix of curiosity and admiration. Fans appreciate her courage in embracing change and celebrating her individuality. Chu's openness about her personal journey has resonated with many, fostering a connection between her and the audience. While the entertainment industry often places emphasis on external appearance, Lauren Shoes has proven that inner strength and authenticity hold equal, if not greater, importance. Her transformed look reflects a woman who has navigated challenges with grace and emerged stronger, inspiring others to embrace their own paths of self-discovery. Number 4. Linda Hamilton, born on September 26, 1956, in Salisbury, Maryland. Linda Carol Hamilton is an actress whose journey in the entertainment industry has been defined by her iconic role as Sarah Connor in the Terminator film series. Hamilton's fame soared with her portrayal of the resilient and fierce character, making her a symbol of strength in science fiction. Hamilton's breakthrough came with the film The Terminator, 1984, where she first embodied the character of Sarah Connor. The role required physical transformation, and Hamilton embraced intense physical training to portray a character evolving from a waitress to a formidable warrior. Her commitment to the role not only shaped her career but also left an indelible mark on the sci-fi genre. The evolution in Linda Hamilton's appearance can be attributed to the demands of her roles, particularly the physically demanding ones. Her muscular and toned physique in the Terminator series became a defining aspect of her on-screen identity, challenging traditional portrayals of women in action roles. Audiences have responded with admiration for Linda Hamilton's dedication to her craft and her ability to bring authenticity to her characters. Her transformation into an action star has been met with acclaim, and she remains an influential figure, especially for women in the entertainment industry. While Linda Hamilton's appearance has changed over the years due to the demands of her roles, it has not hindered her career. Instead, it has elevated her status as a versatile actress capable of tackling diverse and physically demanding characters. Number 3. Sally Struthers, born on July 28, 1947, in Portland, Oregon, Sally Ann Struthers is an accomplished actress whose enduring charm and wit have left an indelible mark on the world of comedy. Best known for her iconic role as Gloria Stivic in the groundbreaking sitcom All in the Family, Struthers' career skyrocketed with her portrayal of the lovable and outspoken character. The transformation in Sally Struthers' appearance over the years has been a natural part of her journey in the entertainment industry. While her youthful and vibrant persona in the 1970s reflected the spirit of the era, Struthers has gracefully embraced the changes that come with the passage of time. Her timeless beauty and graceful aging have endeared her to generations of fans. Sally Struthers' ability to connect with audiences through humor has remained a constant throughout her career. Her comedic timing and infectious laughter continue to resonate with fans who fondly remember her contributions to the golden age of television. Struthers' talent extends beyond acting, as she has also made significant contributions to philanthropy, further solidifying her legacy. Audiences have responded with affection and admiration to Sally Struthers' enduring presence in the entertainment industry. Her ability to evolve while staying true to her comedic roots is a testament to her versatility and lasting impact on the world of comedy.
Number 2. Andy McDowell, born on April 21, 1958, in Gaffney, South Carolina. Rosalie Anderson, Andy, McDowell is an actress and fashion icon whose presence in Hollywood has spanned decades. Best known for her roles in iconic films like Groundhog Day and Four Weddings and a Funeral, McDowell's career is marked by versatility and enduring grace. Andy McDowell's journey to fame began as a model before transitioning into acting, showcasing her innate sense of style and elegance. Her breakthrough role in Sex, Lies, and Videotape, 1989, catapulted her into the spotlight, earning her critical acclaim and establishing her as a leading lady. Over the years, the evolution in Andy McDowell's appearance reflects her commitment to authenticity and embracing the natural aging process. Her timeless elegance has endeared her to fans, and her ability to redefine beauty standards in Hollywood is a testament to her influence. Audiences continue to admire Andy McDowell for her ageless beauty and her refusal to conform to societal pressures. Her enduring career, characterized by a seamless blend of sophistication and approachability, positions her as a symbol of grace and resilience in an ever-changing industry. Number 1. Heather Locklear, born on September 25, 1961, in Los Angeles, California. Heather Dean Locklear is an actress whose career has been marked by a timeless allure and versatility. Best known for her roles in iconic TV shows like Dynasty and Melrose Place, Locklear's impact on the entertainment industry has been both enduring and influential. Heather Locklear's journey to fame began in the early 1980s when she gained recognition for her role as Sammy Joe Dean Carrington in Dynasty. Her portrayal of strong, independent characters contributed to her widespread popularity and established her as a prominent figure in television. Over the years, the evolution in Heather Locklear's appearance has been a reflection of her ability to embrace change while maintaining her distinctive charm. Her graceful aging and radiant presence have continued to captivate audiences, making her a symbol of timeless beauty. Audiences have consistently admired Heather Locklear not only for her acting prowess but also for her resilience and positive spirit. Despite facing personal challenges, Locklear's enduring allure and professionalism have solidified her status as a Hollywood star who transcends trends and leaves an indelible mark on the hearts of fans. Thank you for joining us on this mesmerizing journey through the transformations of iconic figures. If these stories intrigued you, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with those who love compelling narratives, and subscribe to Hollywood Inside 1960s for more riveting content. Your support fuels our passion for unraveling the untold stories of these influential personalities. Stay tuned for more revelations, and until next time, keep the curiosity alive. See you soon on Hollywood Inside 1960s.